Good morning, officially. I couldn't get y'all, there we go. I couldn't get y'all to be straight for some reason on that um, tripod. Okay, good morning. It is 7.15, I woke up at seven. Y'all saw me just brush my teeth, do my skincare. I'm in a hotel room, yes. Um, so today is day two of shooting with Chic Soul. I get to go home tonight. So, um, and I think today's just half a day actually. So, I'm happy about that. I'm going to watch me some TV, get ready. Happy Friday, by the way, welcome to the new vlog. I did go to Target last night. So Kim yesterday had these, or had one of these items and it smelled amazing. It's the Kristen S Signature Finishing Hairspray. And she said she really, really likes it. So I went to grab one of these and when I texted her a picture and I was like, hey, is this the one? She said, yeah, the dry shampoo is good too. So you know I bought both of them. Uh, so we'll use them today when I do my hair. I did like a little bit of a wavy curl yesterday after my hair had been straightened the day before and it didn't really look that great. So I think we'll just straighten today, but I definitely need the dry shampoo. And we'll test out the hairspray as well. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to say hello, good morning. I am going to get ready, make up, all that stuff. And once we get to hair to use these products, I'll see you then. All right, it is now 7.55. I have my straightener plugged in. I'm gonna do a little bit of this Olaplex number six just because I got my hair done recently and it's bleached. So I just like to put a little bit of this, like a little bit, and I think that may even be a little bit too much, just towards the ends. And then the tiny bit that's left, I'll just so ever so slightly. I have super dry hair though, so I don't recommend this if you don't have super dry hair. Let's start with the dry shampoo. I guess I'll read it. Apply to dirty or clean hair at the root. Gently tap the powder into the hair to make any visible powder disappear. Okay, it says tips or tip. This can be used on clean hair as well to soak up oils as they come out. So what I do is I'll separate, oh, okay, no, maybe, okay, uh-oh, oh no, uh-oh, did I get a broken one? Oh, I think I did. For the first time, press down firmly to unlock the nozzle. Oh God. All right. Hopefully it's not that hard every time because I wouldn't use it. Oh, it smells good. Okay, that, I didn't really get anywhere. Oh, you gotta press hard on that. Okay, what is happening? I think I got a faulty one. Okay, hold on. Let me get my receipt. <laughs> I just threw away this Walmart, or this uh, Target bag. So, I'm gonna put this one back in because I'll probably take that one back. But I did bring one. The old faithful Batiste Bear. So we're gonna start over. Yeah, you hear the difference? All right, so. I don't know where I want to part my hair. I guess you don't really care to see me use this dry shampoo, huh? So I'm gonna straighten my hair, and then when it comes time to use the hairspray, I'll be back. I almost used it without you. <laughs> All right, so my hair is as straight as it's gonna be. I don't wanna put any more heat on it because again, I'm, I'm, I just got it colored with bleach. All right, so this is the Signature Finishing Hairspray. We know how hairspray works, but we'll read the how-to. How-to, oh, it's <laughs> telling you things you can do. Um, apply a thin layer for light hold, a second for stronger hold. Let's hope this works. Tip, this is a brushable, layerable hairspray, so don't be afraid of it. How much hold it has is up to you. All right. I mean, not that like I'm really trying to hold. Oh, oh, my hair's wet now. 
smells good, but I really didn't want wet hair. See, I straightened it, but Kim told me it wasn't crunchy. It's a, it's a little, it's a little bit crunchy. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna brush it like she said. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Crunchiness is gone. Okay. What up? Okay. Okay, all right, we're soft. We're back. Again, I don't have a certain style that it's holding, but it smells amazing. I like that it holds it, but you can brush it and it still feels like hair. Okay, I'm gonna go get Starbucks and then I'm gonna go in for my half day, they're pretty good about letting me film. So we're gonna try to do that. Y'all know the drill, I am in. I'm in my first outfit, let me put you up. You're a little bit crooked. <laughs> That's okay though. Look how cute this dress is. Oh, you can't even see it on the way. <laughs> okay, so we do uh, what they call like a little Tron haul in front of the mirror. So it's like a few of my favorites and we just talk about how cute they are. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Am I excited to be there or no? Yeah. Okay. And you just walk in, you're like, hey. And then that's it? Like yes. it's it's quick, right? It's quick, yeah. Okay. Three, two. Is it gonna time give me a timer? Like a countdown or no? Uh no. <laughs> okay. Three, two. Did I get too close to you? No. That's funny. I like it. Unless you want me to do it again. No, I love it. Hello. Okay, it is now 2.30. I'm driving home. We wrapped up probably like 1.45, 2 o'clock. Um, but I'm in traffic on the interstate. I'm probably going 15 miles an hour. That's That feels right, because it's not quite 25 like school traffic. Um, so I don't know what's happening. I can't see up there. But we had a good day today. I need to go home and wash my hair and put a mask in, because y'all know I got it done on Tuesday, and then I've curled it and straightened it and put so much product in it that I need to just... I need to let it just bake in some moisture and stuff like that, but I'm almost at the I-6585 like little jackknife area. Is that what you would call it? The T is probably more accurate. Uh, but if you're familiar with the area, that's the way I go home. So I'm gonna drive for the next few hours, get home, see my new fits. I'm so excited to see it. Brian sent me pictures, obviously, but um, I haven't seen it in person yet. So I'm excited to see that. Also Cash and Layla, we know, are going to be very excited to see me. Um, and while I'm completely stopped, I'm gonna fix this little clip bun because it's too low down and I can't like lean my head back <laughs> on the seat. So I'm going to just do it a little bit higher. But anyway, I was just saying hello because you know we finished and I'm headed home. Kim and I always have such a good time. Such a good time. Uh, so anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go home. I'll see you when I get home and I'll show you the fence. It was cold outside. Good morning. It's not the same day. It's the next morning. Um, I will not flip this camera around and show you my face because I slept hard last night. Um, but happy Saturday. Here's our new fence. I'm obsessed, I love it. Where it dips down, Cash is going to the restroom, so stand by. And then we will continue in, there we go. And then it's six feet all the way around, and this is the gate. Um, it's bigger, like the two doors instead of before. 
that one side was just the one door. I want more trees now. Like, look, they just look so good. There's the other one. We will pot them. Um, but yeah, I want like three or four more, but I want to show you. Hello. Look at this cute little door they made. I mean, I know we needed a door, but to the pool pump. How cute is that? So there's the completed fence. I had somebody ask me about how it's facing and was that okay? We do have HOA, but th they don't care about the fence. So we have all of it facing in where it's all like private. And then we have it facing out here on the driveway because other people can see that. You get what I'm saying? Like back here, y'all knows that swamp, nobody can like, that's not an actual public area back there. Same thing over here, it's the neighbor's house. So I guess that's why we did it that way. I didn't really care. Brian asked me and I said, however you'd like to do it. So we kept it the same way. So here's the new fence. My dog was very happy to see me and very happy to use the restroom out here by herself. <laughs> Um, I'm taking my nieces to the movies today, so I won't see you today again, but I'll see you another day. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is 934. Clearly, I've just showered and washed my hair. Also, I went to like adjust my glasses and realized that um, there was cream cheese all over them. I just ate breakfast and I guess I got, I ate a bagel with cream cheese and I guess I got a little bit on my on my glasses all right so i woke up i worked out obviously showered i got uh blankets in the washing machine i just had breakfast brian went to a meeting he's on his way back um let's see so i just opened that window for her um is there more cream cheese on my face i don't even like cream cheese that like i like it but i barely put any on there so i have no idea how it ended up all over the place all right so i was supposed to work with my mom today I have a ton of swimsuits that I want to shoot. And now that we've got the new fence and the palm trees, uh, it's not sunny at all today. It's actually cloudy all day. And then it's cloudy and rainy until I think next Thursday. So um, I guess I'm just going to shoot some stuff here at home. Oh, I wanted to say I've been reading comments and stuff for my last week's vlog. So many people upset and, you know, just as much as I am. And I know how you feel about the whole nail situation, I did get a refund. Um, so just so you know, I did get my deposit back. Um, but so many of y'all are upset with me and I appreciate that because, you know, you feel a little bit crazy sometimes like, wait a minute, shouldn't I get my money back? But anyway, I did get my money back. Uh, so I'm going to shoot today. I'll show you some sneak peeks of some cute swimsuit. Actually, I can't show you because today's Tuesday. They all go up. One goes up Friday and one goes up Sunday. Oh, by the way, this week's uh, swimsuit Saturday will go up Sunday instead of Saturday. So do we call it swimsuit Sunday or what? You know what I mean? I started drinking um, that. I put that uh, collagen peptides powder in my coffee again. So we'll see how quick my mustache grows back. Um, okay. Update on the dermaplaning. I do feel my hair coming back already. Today is Yesterday was a week. I felt it on like Saturday, so it didn't even stay gone for seven days. Not that I expected it to, but um, I just wanted to test it out and just see how long my face would be super smooth for. I don't know if I love the feeling of the no hair on my face. It was almost like kind of tacky. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, so I probably won't do it again. Uh, so many people though have said keep doing it because it's not just about the hair being gone. It's also like getting rid of dead skin, that exfoliation you know what I mean, type procedure facial type thing. Um, but I probably won't do it again. I don't know. Like the hair's already coming back and I want it to come back because I just feel a little bit weird without it. So there's my update. When I was there, she talked about some micro needling. Maybe she underlined a facial that she said would work really well for me. Cash got her new toy, so she's playing with it. Um, and get rid of like sunspots and stuff like that. That kind of stuff kind of scares me. You know, like you hear like such horrible stories about people that, not really, I only know one story. <laughs> My mom's friend got um, a facial years ago. I mean, probably 20 years ago at this point. And they went too deep and she got like staph infection on her face. That's the only horror story I know of. And that was, I was probably 10 years old. You know what I mean? So how long ago was that? 25 years ago? 
I'm sure the technology and it's more innovative, all that stuff has changed. Anyway, I think I'm going to hold off um, because that just kind of scares me a little bit. I'm just rambling. It is now 940. I'm going to blow dry my hair, put some swimsuits on. We may run to Target. I need to get some uh, Diet Cokes, maybe some stuff for dinners. We haven't grocery shopped, just that kind of thing. So I'm going to work a little bit. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I bought this book at Target, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Here it is. I finished it already. I bought it on Saturday. I finished it yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. And I could have finished it sooner, but Brian and I were like watching Netflix and stuff at night. I finished it. I liked it. It's a little bit raunchy. Not really raunchy is the right word. Um, and it's not really even vulgar. You know what I mean? But it's just subject matter that you may not be interested in. But I'm interested and it was very good. So I'm going to look into some of her other books because I know she does quite a few more. And I liked it. So if you need a good book. Okay. My, my, my brain is like scattered. Actually, I'm going to finish this one where the crawdads sing. So many of y'all said finish it. I haven't finished it yet. And then I saw that they're coming out with the movie. I think it said July. So that's the next book I'm going to read. But... If you've read any more of her, <laughs> any more of her uh, books, let me know because I really liked this one. Did I tell y'all I finished this one too, The Silent Patient? I think I did. I liked it as well. It was a little bit slow, but I liked it. You know what I mean? It wasn't, I didn't have a bad experience with it or anything. Um, so that's it. Okay, I'm going to get to work now. And welcome to my car. It is 1.30. Somebody sent me a message that they watched my haul from today while they ate a McAllister's grilled chicken Caesar wrap. So I had to come get a McAllister's grilled chicken Caesar wrap. I also got a cookie. All right, so on tap. I don't think I'm gonna go to Target. I think I'm gonna go to Ulta and get this Origins under eye cream. Brian's been talking about the like darker circles under his eyes. Um, and we talked about him getting filler like in his face and he's he was gonna do it. It's very expensive, you know what I mean? So he's like, I don't know about all that. Also, I curled my hair today. Um, anyway, so I been doing I've been doing a bunch of research and I've landed on this orange or origins. It's in an orange container, that's what confuses me. Um, so I think I'm gonna run to Ulta and get us one to share and try. See if we like it. I did all my work this morning. I've been watching YouTube in my car. Because that's where I'm eating. Let's go to Ulta. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Yes, original. I wonder what color that is. Online it was cool and warm. Okay, now it's this one. Yes, cool. Oh, I only see warm. Online it said they had cool. Uh-oh, okay. Okay, welcome back to my car. I made a purchase. <laughs> All right, so I did get this one. This was the right one. The original, though online it says cool, and the other one says warm, so they had warm and original. But we got the original. The Origins Ginseng refresh Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. It was like 34 bucks. Yeah, $34. So Brian and I will try this together. And then I also picked up an exfoliating mitt from Saint-Tropez. I have no idea where mine went. Um, and I need this to remove tan. So that's what I bought. Next week is my mom's birthday on Wednesday, April 19th. And she talked about wanting some planters and stuff. So I think I'm gonna run over to at home. You know what? I'm not getting her that at all because I don't know if she watches this or not. So mom, if you're watching, don't. Okay, I'll tell her not to watch. Um, but I think I'm gonna run over to at home. I think, and get her some sort of planter. I need to edit y'all. I say that every week, like, and I need to edit y'all, but I do. Um, tomorrow is another like full work day. Today was like half a work day for me, um, but tomorrow is a full day that I need to work on some stuff. So I'm probably gonna go home, continue reading Where the Crawdads Sing, because I wanna finish it before, you know, the movie comes out, which is, I have time. My brain's a little bit like, I got so much to do 
but then again, nothing to do, you know? Does your brain ever do that? Like you can't think of everything. Like there's so many things, but nothing is imminent. That's how I feel. So, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. Happy Wednesday. I just got home from Publix. Totally forgot to vlog. I worked this morning. It's like 4 o'clock. Um, but I need to edit you, as I always say, as I said, what was it, yesterday, day before. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe. Brian's off this weekend, and it's my mom's birthday, so maybe we'll have some fun stuff um, in tomorrow's vlog. So I'll see y'all on Sunday. Don't forget, Swimsuit Saturday is on Sunday this week, so I'll see you on Sunday. Bye, y'all.